And now to an ABC7 exclusive. A hidden recording device in a special education classroom raises alarming questions about what went on at an elementary school in Berkeley County, West Virginia. Now, we, before we even play these, we want to warn you what you're about to hear is disturbing. Here's 7 on your side, I-Team reporter Scott Taylor. I'm to backhand you right in your teeth. How's that for anxiety? According to parents, that's a secret recording of an instructor talking to kids inside a special education class at Berkeley Heights Elementary School in Martinsburg, West Virginia. Amber Pack sent her eight-year-old daughter to class with a recording device after the child didn't want to go back to school. I'll punch you in your face. A different instructor in the same class. Well, you gotta go pee-pee? Pee-pee? Pee. Or do you not have to go pee-pee and you just wanna go Oh, There's more. I'm gonna pull your hair until you stop crying. Don't throw it. Don't throw. Animal, you. Yep. You winch. You're like a pygmy. You're like a pygmy pygmy. The next day, Pack alerted the school district and the Martinsburg Police Department. Do you think this has been going on for a while? Yes. Mm -hmm. That was the first day I put the recorder in her hair. One day you caught all. One this. day. Mm-hmm. Eight hours. You can hear the instructors sometimes singing songs and reading stories to students, and other times. How your tears dry up so quickly, crocodile. And then she wants to destroy everything in sight. I'm going to knock you out. I couldn't eat for three days. I was so, my stomach, everything, I was just so upset. And every time I looked at her, I'd start crying. What is this? Casey Murphy, Thank whose six-year-old son, Owen, is in the now? same class as during a late October parents-teachers yeah. conference, Nobody alerted her to the recording, even though Pack had already handed it over to the school district. I've never heard from the principal, never heard from the superintendent, never heard from any of them. It wasn't until November, after Pack posted a clip of the recording on Facebook, that Murphy became aware of it. I'm gonna beat your butt, for sure. You know, and you're gonna get one just, just cause. It's sickening. Like, people don't even talk to animals like that, and they're talking to nonverbal children who don't understand why they're talking to them like that. They're not doing anything wrong. On the recording, the instructors tease and refuse to give Owen food. Growl at me, I dare you, and you won't get one. Go ahead. There's nothing says I have to give you a snack. Nothing. Looks like you get nothing, Owen. <laughs> Sorry, the Berkeley County Prosecutor's Office found no criminal wrongdoing, but County Prosecutor Katie Wilkes Delegati told Casey Murphy, I am not in any way condoning the verbal treatment of your children by the individuals in the classroom. Right now, all three instructors are on paid administrative leave. I don't understand why you treated her the way you treated her. She did not deserve that. No, no kid does. The school district, which declined multiple interview requests, is still investigating and says state law prevents it from sharing information. The Civil Rights Division of the U.S. Department of Education right now is getting involved with its own investigation. Now, we reached out to all three of the instructors, and so far we've only heard back from one, and they're telling us she doesn't have any comment. It is absolutely disgusting, and as a parent, you are infuriated when you see that. Yeah, that is really, a, I don't know how these mothers just stayed so calm, yeah. but that's one of the reasons why they um, decided to come forward. And the kids are doing great in new schools. Yeah. Owen is in a new school district and loves his class, loves his teachers. Yeah, hard to hear, but we hope change comes from this, mm -hmm. Scott. Thank you so much.